What's up guys, Quan Trick So2 here with another edition of What's New. And I just want to speak on something that happened uh, yesterday. I didn't really get the chance to really speak on it because I was kind of busy. So I want to take the time now to speak on it because I believe this is very, very important, at least for me. Because um, one of my favorite divas of uh, all time, and especially the PG era, uh, has retired and that is Layla L. Um, she has really uh, had a very successful life, man. Honestly, um, you think about... Uh, what she accomplished even before joining the WWE, just being a Miami Heat dancer, that's got to be tough. And she was also she was the dancer of my favorite basketball team, so that's, that's awesome. Um, I, I believe she appeared in music videos and all that stuff, and that's just from her dancing skills. Um, and she would then, would then win, uh, go on to WWE, win the Diva Search, uh, 2006 Diva Search, which I believe uh, she's probably the most successful, in my opinion, the most successful Diva Search winner of all time. Um, she would go on to do uh, to win that. Then she would go on to uh, appear on SmackDown for a little bit, and then eventually go on to uh, the new uh, ECW and join Extreme Expo Expose, which had uh, Kelly Kelly and Brooke Tessmacher in it. Uh, and they would also do their they would do their dancing and stuff on there. And I think a lot of people believed that Le that Kelly Kelly was going to be the standout star because she was probably the most popular at the time. But it would go to show that Layla would be at least, in my opinion, the most successful because she was uh, the most improved uh, women's wrestler uh, of all three of those girls, especially. Um, well, Brooke has an improved in TNA, but I mean, as far as the time frame of being in WWE, uh, I believe. Uh, Layla probably was the most successful. Um, yes, Kelly Kelly did have her title run, but uh, all in all, Layla's career outshines both of them because uh, she would then go on to uh, back to SmackDown, uh, join up with Michelle McCool, become Lay Cool, and run that division, run that uh, women's division on uh, SmackDown uh, for a, a long time, man. Taking out even my, uh, taking out even my favorite, uh, beating every diva uh, on the roster. And taking on one of my favorite divas, um, uh, Mickey James, and basically owning her. Uh, but that, that was what Lay Cool did, man. They were fabulous. And I enjoyed Michelle McCool and Layla uh, at that time. They were just very, very entertaining. I remember them having the two parts of the, uh, they, they, they were, they were, I guess they were BFFs, and they um, couldn't decide who should hold the uh, women's championship. So instead of, uh, just uh, one of one holding each other, one holding the title at a time. They decided to snap the title in two, and uh, I guess uh, simultaneously hold the women's championships. I thought that was very unique and funny. And then you know it's kind of like you know like the little necklace that you buy at the store for your girlfriend. You have one half of the heart, and uh, she has the other one, and you put them together, and it makes one. It's kind of what they did with the uh, women's championship. It was uh very funny and they had a lot of awesome segments that they got to do i think out of um any diva uh at that time and they got the most uh tv time they were allowed to do promos and all that stuff it was amazing uh so that, i'm pretty sure that was one of layla's favorite times in the uh in the wwe uh she would then get hurt eventually um before that i believe she was the she definitely no she definitely was i'm pretty sure unless somebody can you know um check this for me uh i believe layla is the final women's champion in wwe history that's also a big thing to add to your legacy right there being the final women's champion that's huge uh but like later she would get hurt uh i think she would suffer a knee injury and she would be out for a while um and around this time that's when i had the opportunity to actually meet layla at wrestlemania 28 uh i remember going up to her and saying um that I wanted her to come back and save this division because uh, the Divas division was suffering, especially back, back then. Um, and she was flattered and she said, you know, thank you. Uh, you know, I try my best and all that. And she would come back and she would win the uh, Divas championship and actually improve a lot in the ring. Layla was never really that bad in the ring in the first place, but she would improve uh, tenfold when she returned, bring, back, uh, bring with her some awesome maneuvers that uh i've never seen before it's awesome freaking um like roll up she did uh was awesome and she had like this springboard like uh like kick and it was pretty it was, she did a lot of cool stuff um so i enjoyed uh, seeing her inside and outside of the ring um 
but yeah, like I said, I, I met her at WrestleMania uh, 28. Uh, she's a very, very kind person, and it's a lot of divas that I just, you know, I mean, when you go to an event like WrestleMania, you're trying to go meet all the male superstars, you know, trying to meet the, the, the wrestlers that you watch uh, on a daily basis, but I took the time, I found out that Layla was going to be uh, signing, and I was like, you know what, Layla's one of my favorites, I'm going in there, I'm meeting Layla, and I didn't regret it, because she was one of the most, uh, one of the nicest people I met that entire week um, at WrestleMania 28. And then, two years later, WrestleMania 30, didn't even get in the line to meet Layla. I didn't even know Layla was in the line, uh, but I was taking a picture of uh, somebody who was, some superstar was across the uh, the room, and I look on my camera, and I see Layla on my camera making a silly face, um, and I didn't even notice her. And I look at my camera, there's freaking Layla L. It's freaking uh, hilarious. Uh, so she's, she's kind, she's funny, all that stuff, man. Um, I'm rambling, uh, but... I just want to get out here and, you know, say what I have to say about Layla. Uh, but like I said, she had a very, very successful career. And I think now that she knows that the Divas division is in a, uh, you know, better shape now, that she feels like she can retire. Now that uh, the, the division is in the hands of Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynch, I think she feels that she doesn't, she really isn't needed anymore. But Layla, like I said, you have had a very 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 successful career and probably the most successful career of any diva in the last probably decade honestly uh, and i'm pretty sure uh your mother is proud looking down on you from uh, heaven above and very proud of what you have accomplished not only inside the ring but also outside the ring with the uh the uh the cancer um the breast cancer uh you know funds everything that you do uh, you, you did with the WWE. You know, I know you were a big part of that as well. So uh, you're a great humanitarian and professional wrestler and entertainer. And I'm just really, really, really going to miss you. You are an awesome person. And uh, whatever you do outside of the WWE, I wish you all the success. If you decide to still, you still want to entertain, uh, I would definitely be watching. So, yeah. Uh, Layla, you are amazing. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just, this video is kind of going kind of long, long. So... I want to uh, sign out, comment, rate, subscribe, stay goal, everybody. Uh, peace.